Hey guys, we've got a really easy tutorial today talking about tileable textures but using Substance Painter. As you can see here, I've been uh, making my own little cushions but with funky different patterns. Um, I want to do that for one of my games that I'm making and I want to do it in Substance Painter uh, using different alphas that I've made and it's surprisingly easy to set up. I'll show you now and uh, if you want to see how you set it up in Blender beforehand, I can do that at the end as well. So guys, straight into Substance Painter, I'm currently using version 10.1, but I did check as well, and it is the same in the Steam version of 2022. Um, all you have to do is click File, Open Sample, and then Tiling Material. This will automatically give you a tileable texture and preview. It has some layers built in already, but you can simply just delete those. And then you're fresh to start painting however you want. As you can see, you can, you can draw straight on the 3D view and just make shapes that connect. Kind of like weird shape like this and this will create your material here or you can just paint straight onto this 2d side do the same thing create whatever pattern you want and you can see it happening in the 3d view so basically you're just painting on this middle square and just repeating on the other side so you can see how it would tile and it's very simple in this in this view this is this is your material and you can see how it would look when it's placed somewhere else dead simple for the start of the video i just made my own alpha shapes and i just Painted a couple on, and that's how it tiles. There's some other examples. There's flowers, cow print, kind of cross crisscrossing. Or you can also create stuff like this. So say you wanted, I don't know what you'd want this for, like a wooden floor maybe, or something. But yeah, you just it's the same concept. You're just painting on. In this in this case, I think I used a variety of layers. You know, as you as you can do in Subs Painter, just to make this complete thing. If for whatever reason you didn't have that sample or you wanted to make your own without having to delete all the layers all the time or you want to make your own setup, it's really easy to do. We'll start by deleting all this rubbish. We'll do Shift A and add plane in. I'll go into UV editing and turn on this button so we can see which vertices we're grabbing. So you can see here, if I go on top view with seven, these two are exactly these two top ones on the side. You don't need to mess with this. Easy way, just add in a ray modifier. So add, click this little wrench thing, click add modifier. If it's not at the top, just search for array. We'll add three in, and then we'll do the same again. We'll add another one. But in this case, we'll change. We'll add it to the y, one direction in the y, and get rid of the x, and we'll add three again. So this is pretty much what we had already, but it's not centered. So if we apply these two quickly, right click, set origin to geometry. And then press Alt G, and that's centered. So that is the, pretty much exactly the same setup we have in Substance Painter. Same thing if, if you just wanted, say, if we get rid of those ones. If we just wanted to create wallpapers, we only cared about it in the X direction. Um, or if you only cared about it in the Y direction, then you could just export the FBX like this. And in Substance Painter, we can create a new one. We can choose that tileable square. I'm just going to do as 2K in OpenGL. Discard what I made here. And that is the same setup as what we had in the sample. So I've got my setup ready, and uh, it's exactly how I want, with the black background and a red fill layer with a mask, so I can just paint straight on whatever pattern I fancy making for, say, for example, a lamp. Um, so I can save this. So if I'll save as, I've already done it by here, tileable textures for alphas. Save that one. And then, then every time I load up, Substance Painter, instead of doing file open sample, I can just open this and it's going to have this set up already and we're good to go. Even a shape something as simple as this, I can export this now and put it in the right place. Go back into my Blender file and I can just swap out the spots, for example, for this new one that I've just made. And that's what it's going to look like and we can change the scale here. A completely different pattern pillow. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but you get the drift. If you spend time on things, you could just make some really nice stuff. Or you can use it for walls, floors, and do really detailed hand painting. It just depends how far you want to go with it. But again, it is a really simple setup. Uh, whether you just want to go straight for the sample and just play around with that. Chances are that's what most people who viewed this video would have done and turn it off. But if you'd like to know how you can set it up working to uh, play around with for different things in Blender, I can show you that at some point. The node setup. And yeah, I hope it was useful to you guys.
thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel it really helps and i'll catch you in the next video cheers guys